Cascade Sports. I'm your host, Glenn Bryan Frizzell. I'm here today with Mr. Doug Frederick, who's being inducted into the 2013-14 Hall of Fame class, UMKC athletic program for his achievement in track and field during the years 1997 and 2000. Can you tell us a little bit about how it feels to be honored in that way this evening? It's, it's hard to put it into words, you know, to, for somebody, for a group of people to recognize you for something you did 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago is, is, really, is really phenomenal. Uh, one of the neatest things about an event like this is uh, that you, people reach out and they tell you so many little stories that you probably never would have heard otherwise, things you've forgotten about. It's been, it's been a really nice experience. But it's a job down there. What high school did you go to? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. High school in Springfield, Missouri. Yeah. Springfield, Missouri. Are you still involved with the community? Do you uh, still participate in track and field? I've, uh, I've also with, uh, volunteered for the high school, my alma mater, track and field, uh, with their team at Kicks uh, with some of the hurdles and some of the other events. One of the neat things about being a decathlete is you learn almost every event in the track and field uh, uh, genre. So um, I've helped out with the hurdlers and the jumpers, and so it's, it, that's been great to help some of the kids out because I know that when I was in uh, hurdling and, and jumping at Kickapoo, um, one of the most meaningful experiences I had was when a former uh, athlete came back and, and, and helped me with a few uh, hurdling sessions. In fact, I had one of my biggest breakthroughs when a former um, student athlete came back and, uh, and taught me, I just something clicked. He taught me how to compact over the hurdle, and it's just something that you know my coach had never been able to, to get through with me. So. Mr. Frederick, you probably have that special touch, that special connection. How about some words of advice for uh, a student who's currently at UMKC at the and who may be in your shoes five, ten years from now. I'd say to the, to the, to the current student athletes at UMKC, um, it's the little things that are going to put you uh, ahead of everybody else. Because there's a lot of people, a lot of talented people out there. There are a lot of hard workers out there. Um, but uh, to really you know, break through that next level, whatever that may be for you, is doing the little things right. But for me personally, that meant uh, properly stretching after practice. That helped me stay injury free for, for four years. Uh, it means eating right. It means getting uh, regular, um, good, regular sleep, which is tough to do in college. Um, so those are the types of things that help me to do, uh, you know, 15 events uh, over the course of three days at the conference track meet and do fairly well. So it's the little things that are really going to um, put you over the top, and it's also surrounding yourself with, with good people. Uh, very, very rarely, if ever, does somebody achieve something great completely on their own. Almost in every single instance, they had good people around them. So if you want to be great, if you want to achieve greatness, surround yourself with good people. And Mr. Frederick, Mr. Doug Frederick, we like to hear Cascade Media congratulate you on your evening. You have a great Thank night. Thank you. I'm Glenn Bryan Frizzell with Cascade Media Sports. Take care. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes, goes to the best prepared. prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share, share it. it.